hi my friends and welcome to another exciting one so today is going to be a very quick and simple tutorial we are going to learn how to create this swell cosmetic this swell cream that you see inside this cosmetic container so if i turn on my so we are going to learn how to create this nice swell cosmetic that you see so without much talks open up your blender and let's get started so i'll go back to here and then i'm going to hide everything inside my scene so that we'll be able to create this just this swell from scratch so i'll check this to hide everything from my scene so that we start from scratch so first let's add a circle into our scene so we do shift plus a mesh and then we add in a circle right so let's make sure we have the vertices set to 12 then we can hit on enter to commit our settings so once we have the circle inside our scene next we can go to our top view by hitting on this to go to the top view tab into edit mode and then hit on f to fill these faces so once we have this face fill we can add in some insertion so we hit on i for insert then we add in one insertion i and then add in one last insertion like this so that we have something like this right so now we want to create this kind of shape so like a little bit of bulge inside so to do that if we hit on g to move you see unless we do it manually like this which is takes a lot of time so we are going to take advantage of the proportional editing so if you come to the top here and then you can see we have proportional editing so let's turn it on once we turn on the proportional editing now if i select this face and then i try to move right you can see we have a small circle just right where my cursor is so we can scroll the mouse wheel up or down to decrease the size of the circle so the size of the circle represents the fall off so if i increase my circle and now i try to move you can see how it affects the entire shape then if i decrease my circle you can see how it affects only the part which is falls within the circle right so first let's go to our right autographic view like this g make sure we have our proportional editing active then let's scroll our mouse view until it covers the entire shape then let's bring it up on the z axis like this so let's bring it up a little bit like this right so once we have something like this next let's just select every other edge that links to this side so i'll select this edge and then skip this edge and then hold alt shift click to select the next edge hold alt shift click to select all these edges like this so i have one edge selected the next is not selected so we have all of them selected so once we have all of them selected like this let's turn off proportional editing for now then let's hit on g and then let's bring it up on the z axis like this so we have something like this all right so once we have something like this we can add a subdivision surface so let's go to our modifier tab and then let's go to generate and then let's add subdivision surface to it right so let's increase the level to two for now so that we have something like this we can always go to tab and then bring it up a little bit to increase the fall off that we have so this is the first step we can right click and then shade it smooth and then this is what we have like this right so once we have something like this we can tab into edit mode make sure we have our face select mode active and then let's select the center part like this then let's go back to our top view let's turn back our proportional editing and then let's rotate this right so with our proportional editing turned on let's just hit on r for rotation and then let's rotate this right so once we rotate this you can rotate it as much as you want and then let's rotate it something like this so once we rotate this you can see we have that swell pattern being created nicely like this right so once we have something like this with this selected we can hit on i to add in one insertion like this turn of proportional editing and then let's do g z to bring it up on the z axis like this so that we have something like this so once we do this with this top face selected we can go to faces and then poke faces why is it poke faces so that all of these faces will be joined right at the middle 
with one point so you, i can you'll be able to select this point then everything will be joined with this point now we can select this point and then hit on g and then z to bring this point out a little bit like this right so with our proportional editing turned on we can do g scroll our mouse wheel down and then maybe position it something like this right so so that we have our swell like this we can do g scroll our mouse wheel up then maybe bring the entire thing down like this right so basically that's it for for creating these nine swells so one last thing you, you would like to do is select your um select your edge select with alt click and then we can do just to straighten this last edge we can do s and then z let's turn off our proportional editing so let's do s for scale and then z and then we can hit on zero so that we can scale all of these edges on this on the z axis zero to so that we can flatten that last end to create something nice like this so basically that's it and then next you will add in your materials so for this one it will be a, it will be just a simple material so let me turn on our this thing so that you can see what we are doing so i just turn on our render view so that you'll be able to see what we are doing so for this we're just adding a new material decrease the roughness a little bit and then add some subdivision surface so this turn the subdivision surface to one so that you add in a little bit of subdivision and then a little bit of roughness to make everything look nice so so that's it from today's tutorial i hope you learned something from it so i'll just hide this and then bring this back up then maybe turn my camera view and so that we see what we did here so this is just a simple shape container i hope you can create this if you can't please follow follow some of my tutorials on my channel you'll be able to create this simple as possible and then this is just another container it's just a simple shape and then this is the swell that we created i hope you learned something from this one see you on the next one it's my friend and peace out